begin with a place value chart. These will be utilized throughout the unit. You'll notice the value of each place is represented with paper clips. The paper clips are representing the values of ones and tens in this model. The tool is meant to model the 10 to one relationship and is intended to bridge the understanding as students begin to represent numbers using place value blocks. Next, students will use a place value pocket. This tool allows students to represent the number in standard form and see the periods. A period is a three digit grouping of whole numbers where each grouping is composed of a ones place, a tens place, and a hundreds place. Each period is separated by a comma. The thousands period is composed of the one thousands, ten thousands, and hundred thousands. However, in second grade, students will only represent numbers to the one thousands place. Here, you can see we have represented 1,059. As students are composing and decomposing numbers, it is important to encourage flexible thinking with representations. Here, you see a model of 348, but let's model in another way. Two hundreds, one hundred with tens, and another four tens, So now I have 200, 300, 40, and my eight ones. You'll notice in this model, we have 348 shown with three hundreds, four tens, and eight ones but we also have 348 shown with 200s, 14 tens, and eight ones. Another tool that will be used to represent numbers are place value disks. Place value disks are a non-proportional representation of place values. Values are labeled on individual disks. Disks for each place value are usually a particular color to help students identify like place values. Here you see a model of 348. You also see a representation of 348 using base 10 blocks. There are some similarities between the two. Both models represent 348. Both can be counted to determine the value of the representation. Both models represent place value. And both models require the same number of blocks or disks to represent the number. Some differences between the two tools are base 10 blocks vary in size while place value disks are all the same size. Base 10 blocks show the number of ones that are composed to form the 100 and the 10, but place value disks are labeled with values. Base 10 blocks can be arranged to show how ones can be composed to form a 10 and a 10 to form a 100. However, place value disks do not show the 10 to one relationship concretely. As students transition from the base 10 blocks to the place value disks, it is important to remember to encourage the flexible representation of numbers. Let's look at the number 348. In this model, I have shown 348 using place value disks, but I want to model the number another way. I'm going to use 200s. Ten tens to represent a hundred. Four more tens to represent my forty. And eight ones. Eight. Both models show three hundred forty-eight, but this model I've decomposed that hundred into ten tens to show 100 another way, my four tens for 40 and my eight ones. Thank you so much for tuning into the first episode of Elementary Math Minutes. We appreciate you joining us for this section overview. We will see you next time.